Uh, let me welcome all of you to this event. Uh, first, uh, Andre, I think I see some of your fa uh, family members here and uh, friends. Yeah, right. Family. Yes. Would, should you, be. would you please, uh, are you able to introduce them to us? Let me see where they are. I'm sure that uh, they are in mean, different places. Carlotta, oh. I see my daughter, Carlotta. Yes. Charlie, can you hear me? And here she is. Uh, I think it should be. Um, Hello, uh, everyone. Hello, Carlotta. Hello. <laughs> Carlotta, Carlotta, I'm a grandparent. Carlotta has a son, and uh, she will deliver a, 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 a female baby in May. So I'm particularly happy with that. Carlotta is a lawyer. And uh, there should be my son from uh, Lausanne and uh, my other son from Texas, actually. Tobia should be, well, they hope I'll the link. Uh, oh, Tobia is here, Daniel is here. Okay. We're both here. Ciao, guys. Hello, Hello everyone. Now. And uh, Hello. Uh, and Carlotta, Hello. Carlotta he, he's, uh, she, she was on duty on the, at the hospital. And uh, if she hasn't connected, she will. Oh. I, I'd love for her to see Susan and, and Mrs. Work in particular. <laughs> All right, Chris, uh, would you please, uh, I mean, I think many of us uh, know Susan and Rosemary, but for those who do not, would you please introduce uh, Susan and Rosemary too? Certainly, uh, thank you, GS. And uh, uh, Susan obviously is uh, uh, my wife of uh, many years, and I'll talk a little bit about that, but my mother has been a, a, a very big supporter of the university. All six of us went to Purdue. She's living down here for the uh, season, as they call it, in Florida and enjoying the uh, outdoors and uh, being able to uh, have her coffee every morning on the lanai. May I re recall that uh, my wife, uh, Carlotta, who, her true name is Maria Caterina, but we call her Carlotta, and I attended uh, Susan and Chris's wedding. I thought it was South Bend, Indiana, right? Was it South Bend? It's Fort Wayne, Fort, but uh, you Fort Wayne, to... Fort Wayne, or something like that. <laughs> yes, oh. we had a wonderful time. A, right. few ago. a, a few moments ago, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, everybody, I think I have a few remarks. Uh, we many of you have watched the DEA event, but for those of you who have not, I wanted to say a few things about. Uh, about Andrea, and then we will have some of the other faculty. I'll call on them to say a few words, and then we will go into, uh, you know, a conversation mode and see what questions people have for for Andrea. So again, uh, thank you for uh, joining us for this virtual Distinguished Engineering Alumni Award, Lyle School of Civil Engineering Alumnus Andrea Ronaldo. Uh, I think many of you know that the Distinguished Engineering Alumni Award is one of the most prestigious awards Purdue University has to offer. Uh, it recognizes boilermaker men and women who have uh, distinguished themselves in their fields that reflects favorably on Purdue University, the engineering profession, and society in general. Uh, a distinguished engineering alum is engaged in engineering work and the record of accomplishments is indicated by their growth into positions of uh, increasing responsibility and this is you know, easily true of uh, Dr. Ronaldo. So Andrea earned his PhD from Purdue, as he mentioned in 1983, and he's currently serving as professor of hydrology and water resources, and is a laboratory director of eco-hydrology at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, a very reputed place. He's an internationally recognized scholar who has made numerous contributions of truly exceptional uh, importance towards the understanding of the structure of river basins and the role that drainage networks play as ecological corridors for species, populations, and pathogens, as well as the impact of hydrologic drivers in numerous aspects of biodiversity. It's a really new up and coming field. Uh, after earning his bachelor's and master's degrees in civil engineering from University of Padova in 1978, Ronaldo came to Purdue University to earn his PhD in fluid mechanics, uh, which is one of our emphasis areas in the Lyle School of Civil Engineering. Uh, in the following years, uh, Ronaldo and his collaborators have identified general properties of the critical self-organization of, of uh, mature river basins, landscapes referred to as 
in the theory of optimal channel networks. Uh, I understand in 2008, if I'm correct, he established the laboratory of ecohydrology at Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. And this lab uh, focuses on uh, the unifying framework for theoretical field and experimental studies of river networks as ecological corridors for species, populations, and pathogens of a waterborne disease. Recently, Andrea has focused on uh, uh, spatially explicit epidemiological models of waterborne disease with special interest on epidemic cholera, including of, inclusive of large scale applications to hotspots of disease outbreaks. His overarching interests can be subsumed in the quest for a fair distribution of water. Andrea, as you know, is a member of the National Academy of Sciences, the National Academy of Engineering and the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. And he holds a Hydrologic Sciences Award from the American Geophysical Union the Dalton Medal from the European Geosciences Union, and the Prince Sultan Abdulaziz International Water Prize from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Very, very impressive. Uh, Ronaldo is also a Neil Armstrong Distinguished Visiting Fellow at Purdue University, where he has shared some of his incredible research with our students, faculty, and staff. And we look forward to hosting him again for another one of his uh, lectures. In the meantime, uh, it is my great pleasure to congratulate Ronaldo on his latest achievement. So Ronaldo, congratulations. And thank you for both your many integral contributions to the engineering and science communities and for sterling representation of Purdue University that a Purdue University alumnus can achieve. And uh, I want to add that I'm so thrilled for you and uh, take extreme pleasure in basking in the reflected glory. So um, with that, uh, I think I'm going to call on some people to say a few words. Uh, so Kumaresh, if you want to go next. Well, thanks for uh, giving me opportunity at uh, GS. It's so wonderful to see I was watching. Uh, I was on video, I was watching uh, Andrea talking and the family and also uh, Chris Barks family. As Vin said, Barks mother doesn't look that she has changed since I saw her in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> she looks just the same, even younger now. <laughs> so I'm so delighted that Andrea is being recognized uh, as the distinguished engineer alumnus of Purdue. And I, I, it's not just most deserving, I think it's long overdue. And I say that uh, not just because he has been a consequential scholar, as G.S. just uh, mentioned, respected worldwide, who has created a new uh, field of investigation or inquiry, ecohydrology, and has written seminal papers, books, has been elected to the major academies of sciences and engineering, in the US and Europe. In the US, NAE, NAS, and American Academy of Arts and Sciences, that's the trifecta. That's, that's, that's a very rare ad achievement. So uh, those are wonderful recognitions. And also other medals and honors that I see that Andrea has received. And even if we do not consider all these achievements and recognitions, I would say he deserves to be a distinguished engineering alumnus. So why? Well, because he's perhaps the only civil engineer who has been a world-class rugby player. Yeah. Do you know of anybody else? <laughs> and a senior official of a national rugby association. In, in Italy. And that even got him an audience with the Pope. Is that right, Ronaldo? Yes. <laughs> so I think that's a, that's a unique achievement. Uh, uh, nobody can match that. Well, uh, last few years, I have had the pleasure of working with 
Andrea on matters related to the National Academy of Engineering. He has been a superb collaborator. I mean, absolutely committed and superb collaborator in, in my efforts with the international members and uh, also domestic members. I've been simply amazed to find him so well respected and liked by his colleagues in the water world. And, uh, you know, it brings to my mind, it just seems like that day, just that day that uh, I, Aldo Giorgini, that somebody mentioned, or both Vince and GS mentioned, Aldo introduced me to Andrea, you know, but it was about four decades ago, as you heard. And uh, I remember Aldo and Aldo used to wear uh, hard sole shoes, leather soles, and he used to walk on the concrete floor, karakat, karakat noise he used to make. And I could tell from a distance Aldo coming. And he was very always running around. And I used to see Aldo and Andrea, they are working all day, working, arguing, and I don't know exactly what it was, maybe never uh, Navy strokes or something like that. But I used to see them working, arguing, going back and forth, physics building and civil building, and arguing more in the evenings. Now, as we celebrate Andrea's success, I would like to remember Aldo, as Vince mentioned. Aldo was an, another superbly cultured engineer from Italy. I think Aldo was from Milan and uh, Andrea is from Venice, uh, uh, but nevertheless, they're Northern Italy. And when I think of Andrea, I really think that's Aldo's gift to Purdue. And uh, I am again, very pleased. And Andrea, you have made us all very proud. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Kumaresh. Uh, Suresh, would you like to go next? Yes, thank you, GS. Ciao, Andrea. It's a great occasion to be speaking about you with our colleagues in personal life and professional life gathered here to celebrate your success. Um, I wrote something very formal, but I'm going to try to paraphrase it for a few minutes. Um, so, but first recognition that over the years that I've worked with you, Andrea, and your former students who are also well-known scholars by their own accord, and by the way, your grand students, I mean your students, students who are linked to Purdue by working here with me. So we have deep, long personal connections in a professional world as well. And I've enjoyed that very much. So thank you for that. Um, so I was gonna say that Andrea gave me an advice uh, one time when we were together in, in Lausanne at dinner or beer or wine or something. He said, Suresh, if you find someone who is better than you professionally and that from whom you can learn, and that person happens to be someone you would love to go to dinner and have a beer or a wine. You never leave, leave him go, let him go, right? So I heeded his advice and kept Andrea close. And hopefully Andrea keeps me close because we have overlapping uh, complementary uh, interests related to how hydrology influences us as human civilization and hydrology controls ecological system dynamics as well. So I think our interests intersected the moment I started working on river networks instead of groundwater, which it lies deep, but is connected to rivers. So when I made my transition to study river networks, the first book I read was Andrea's book, Fractal River Networks, which is a classic and of course, other famous books followed from that. So Andrea, thank you for starting me up in River Networks. And I've tracked uh, that research for now 20 some years. 
uh, by the way, starting at Purdue when I moved there from Florida. And two things interesting about that, uh, connecting Andrea's work to Padua and his work on driven networks. Padua has an 800 year history. Among the famous graduates of, uh, from Padua is an English physician, Harvey, who was the first to establish human flow, blood flow in human circulatory systems. So that 800 some years, 400 some years later, Andrea would work on rivers, which are the circulatory system of the planet is only, you know, justified. So thank you for connecting your work to Harvey way back some 400 years ago. Um, and to say that Andrea would grow up to become a hydraulic engineer probably was destined to be. It's in his genes. He inherited from his father and grandfather who are both hydraulic, famous hydraulic engineers. To say that he would grow up, uh, born in and grow up in Venice would be to say that a city was built on water by some very creative, innovative engineers uh, from Italy. And that city still is the most famous place for a tourist. And that city is where the roads are all water and the cars that we would expect in other cities are boats. Andrea grew, grew up to be a gondolier and studied water and how water influences people. So I think he was born to do this, but not too many people with that, the same background would get to do it so superbly to uh, be recognized world over as one of the greatest hydrologists uh, that is still around. So, um, so I would say again that your work on scaling of river networks, the dynamics of river networks and how that entire theory that you developed with your colleagues propagates through many other related systems related to nutrient cycling in rivers, ecosystem dynamics in rivers, and how people living along the rivers are influenced by river, including how waterborne diseases propagate through vulnerable populations in all over the world. So again, thank you very much for all that work and thank you for me being, letting me be a part of collaborations that have evolved over last decades. Congratulations, Andrea, and congratulations to your family as well. I have not met your children, but of course I know your wife, uh, you call Carlota. Sorry, she's not here, but to her as well. She I know she loves Purdue just as much as you do, Andrea. I walked the campus with you when you first came back and went to the Mary's Sud housing. And I could see you touching the walls, feeling the old vibrations. So I know you love Purdue. We love you. Thank you. GS, back to you. Yeah, uh, thank you, Suresh. And I just uh, should have mentioned this earlier, we are recording this so that we can create a video and keep a record for this event and perhaps be able to share it with others who could not attend this meeting. Uh, and next, uh, Chris, if you would like to say a few words, I think we all understood that you are perhaps Andrea's best friend. So any details you would like to share would be more than welcome. Well, thank you, Jess. Thank you for the opportunity. And it's a great pleasure. It's really a pleasure for my mother and my uh, wife to participate this uh, uh, this morning. Uh, it's a great honor. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, hydraulics and systems engineering was the name of the department that we were both uh, studying in. Uh, Aldo Giorgini, as we uh, it's talked about before, was his major professor. My major professor was, uh, uh, as we mentioned, um, uh, Aldo's uh, student. Uh, it was not, if you had any pride as a graduate student, it was really, really, really hard <clears throat> to be in a class with Andrea. He was always the smartest. He was far and away the best looking and he was always the <laughs> nicest person in the class. This was really kind of hard for us. And Dr. Sinha pointed out that he's still respected throughout the world as being not only a great scholar, but a first class individual. We graduated on the same day. Um, there's a, uh, uh, we had a party at our house 
the events of the day were videotaped, videography, I guess is what they call it now, um, by a 14-year-old Thomas Burke, who would go on to get his PhD at Purdue. And his master's um, advisor was, in fact, Aldo Giorgini. Thomas had a very high voice at that particular time. <clears throat> um, communication at our, our party, and it's kind of hard to call it a party when you're in a two-bedroom uh, um, uh, apartment with a, uh, about uh, 40 people. Um, I recall that my uh, responsibilities were the cooking and I burned the meat and that tasted like the charcoal starter fluid that I applied during the cooking. Uh, uh, my mother reminded me of that for many, many years. There's a picture of Andrea and I at the Hubby Hall in our regalia uh, with our per major professors at our side. And he showed that picture yesterday. As I've said before, we had no money, we had no job, but we had a great deal of confidence. Um, Andrea called it yesterday um, he, that we feared nothing. And I think that's really the, uh, a great description. We had one of the finest education um, possible from dedicated faculty. And in fact, I, I saw that Dr. Uh, Delur joined us uh, uh, this uh, morning. And uh, thank you, Dr. Delur. I've mentioned this many times before. Uh, he certainly uh, had uh, uh, rigor in his courses and held us to a high standard. It was a great uh, um, uh, experience. Uh, we had, uh, what we did have, and as I said, no money, no job, no uh, nothing else except uh, um, a, a great education. We also had a very loving and supportive family. And we had loving wives who were there throughout this journey uh, that started uh, in graduate school. Um, they uh, uh, also, as I recall, if I've done the math correctly, were just then expecting our first children. Um, so this was the beginning of our new career. And that day I will always remember, Andrea, and congratulations. All right. Uh, thank you, Chris. Well, Andrea, let's uh, I mean, hear from you. Uh, any thoughts you would like to share with us? And then we'll open it up for conversation or questions others may have. Um, yes, of course, yes. And uh, first and foremost, from the bottom of my heart, du fond du mon coeur, like my French uh, friends say, thank you so much. This means so much to me. And uh, as, as uh, it was mentioned before, yeah, Purdue means a hell of a lot to me. But let me go specifically, GS, thank you so much for your generous citation. And uh, I mean, what, what uh, the, 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 the department that you're heading, um, it's a very important one. It was absolutely crucial in my formation. I, I, I mentioned it in the speech that I recorded, etc. I, I mean it. I had a superb education, as Chris said. Um, it gave this, give us this feeling that uh, um, we know nothing, but we fear nothing. We can learn anything. We can, with application, with dedication, uh, good heart, and um, and uh, as it was famously said, that what we would like to do is uh, just be decent guys win a few prizes maybe. And uh, that's what uh, that's we all for. But, uh, but thank you so much, yes. That, that means a lot to me. Uh, Kumaris, that's um, what is absolutely phenomenal. I remember vividly when Aldo was taking me to visit you. He said, let's visit this very important guy, etc." And it was you. <laughs> you haven't changed much. And it was more than 40 years ago, Kumaris. This is absolutely fantastic. This is amazing. <laughs> really, really, there's a Dorian Gray uh, <laughs> thing. <laughs> just, and I'm admiring so much. And let's go. And um, now, um, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, uh, we went into the venture. We got, uh, we, I mean, uh, had uh, Chris recognized from the National Academy of Engineering what he fully deserves, and we thought so. And um, it's been a good thing. Let's have Chris involved and let's do good things. Let's promote good people, recognize and encouraging good people for the Academy means um, uh, uh, in this, uh, well, it's a complicated world, actually. And I see that uh, merit is uh, somewhat forgotten of fake news and of uh, fake uh, front pages, et cetera. So let's promote value. And uh, with a phenomenal leader, Kumaris, Chris and I can, can, well, at least we try to do good, et cetera. And, and as you said, 
Susan and Mrs. Berg, this means so much to me to see you. And uh, the memories, it was Fort Wayne, but I remember so vividly your wedding, actually. And the party that was at your place with 40 people in there with the meat, etc. I do have somewhere a picture of the two of us with the article this, the vest that you put on when you cook, but I'm, I'm a lousy cook, always been. But you were good. You, you, I remember, right, yes, <laughs> you burnt the meat at that point. But we had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful time. And I, those memories are uh, carved deeply into, into me. And Suresh is, um, wasn't a Purdue at the time, but um, there are deep affinities. And um, it seems like a logical path for uh, Suresh and I to work together and with our own uh, academic siblings, and uh, we have quite a few, and, and grandsons, I mean, students of our students. And um, it's a great fun and a great privilege, in fact, uh, uh, to have him been so close to Keiko and you, and, uh, and uh, personally and professionally, and, and as much as you've seen. And anyways, so uh, as for uh, Purdue, Purdue is, um, is here to stay for me and uh, whatever, and uh, I'll. Uh, I'm proud of being inaugural uh, uh, Neil Armstrong, a visiting professor, et cetera, now I'm alone. But anyways, whatever chance um, I have and will have to drop by, uh, for any, you know, you can count on me and whatever, et cetera. This uh, means a lot to me. And, uh, and uh, this part is absolutely fantastic. So in case uh, uh, I, I would be, if uh, Carlotta uh, uh, I couldn't, uh, 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 link, which is probably because of medical things, etc., the kind of uh, terrible job that they have, especially these days, the hospital is really just fortified because of the COVID epidemic, etc. I'm I'm delighted to hear that uh, this is going to be recorded, so I can show it to her, and uh, in particular, certainly. But I, I'm certainly speaking from my heart, uh, I, from my wife's part. We've been, you know, we'll, uh, we've been married for 40 years now. This year, this year, yes. Oop, yes, and uh, and uh, and um, her memories. I mean, and you remember, Suresh brought me there, and uh, and we, we needed to an umbrella. Like when she went to Mary's student apartment, she was crying like you won't believe it, <laughs> because the memory was so intense. And, uh, and and I probably told you. Well, I probably remember that in the in the blurb I, I sent to the thing, etc. The welcome that Purdue gave us wasn't precisely warm. Because the day after we flew in, we got minus 75. <laughs> it was in January. And uh, for a few days, I think it was one of the very few times in the century, in the century, that um, Purdue shut down for two or three days. And so on behalf of Carlotta, to Susan and Mrs. Burke in particular, and to Chris, and to you all, and from me, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thank you so much indeed. Right, thanks, Andrea. Uh, I thought, uh, Jack, did you want to say something? I thought I saw you raise your hand. Andrea Rinaldo is a great pleasure. And it reminds me of the time when he was part of the hydraulic and hydrology work at Purdue there. And it reminds me of his uh, major professor, Aldo Giorgini, and the fantastic times that we have had together. So I don't think I can add much to what uh, already uh, Suresh Rao and Chris Burke and, uh, and uh, Professor Sinha have said before. I don't think I can add too much to that, but I'd like to add my congratulations and tell Andrea that I do remember very well when we were all here at Purdue in the School of Civil Engineering. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you from my heart, Jack. Thank you so much. This is really a gift, really a gift. It's a pleasure. If, thank you so much. Carlotta, if you, if, you, if you can direct, I don't know if you can from your phone, but uh, Susan and Mrs. Burke are here. Oh, that's so nice. It's incredible to have you all after all this time and, 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 uh, and uh, the whole life that has, uh, has passed. And, uh, and we yeah. have always uh, tried to uh, to keep treasure of what we learned in, at Purdue. It's and so all of the... Hello. Susan, were you saying something? It's, it's so wonderful to see Carlotta. Hello. Hello, Susan. Hello, Mrs. Burke. So Hello. nice to see you. <laughs> I'm delighted. <laughs> 
That's incredible. So nice. It is. We but have such of those years. They were wonderful years. Wonderful years. Oh, definitely, definitely. And uh, and I remember when uh, when uh, uh, Mrs. Burke and uh, uh, Chris's sister came to Padua and visited us, and it was so nice to Venice. Venice. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes ago, just a little little time ago. <laughs> just Chris, to, I'm that afraid Lisa. that uh, our women haven't changed a bit. Instead, oh. we have aged <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> they have not. We're very close. <laughs> Grace. No one ever says that about me. No. <laughs> uh, so, and I, Dr. Blur, I'm so happy to see you and uh, hope you're very doing much. well. Very much. It's a real treat, uh, Jacques, to see you. Hello. Oh, look at that. That's Mario and my grandson. I saw my grandson briefly. Okay. Does anybody have any questions or points they would like to make? I have some questions from graduate students, Andrea, but uh, I want to see if anybody in the audience would first like to ask any questions. So Andrea, I'm so delighted that um, a PhD graduate from our program, you know, has been recognized in, on so many different levels and we are so thrilled that we are here to um, spend a few minutes with your family and you honoring you on receiving the DEA uh, yesterday. So um, my question is, um, you know, what was the most challenging um, part of your graduate experience at Purdue? So as a graduate chair, I'm always interested in finding out what things didn't work, but you know how you over uh, over uh, came those uh, obstacles or challenges. That's a good question. First of all, good to see you. Indeed, that's uh, lovely to see. You. Well, actually, uh, you have to uh, realize that at that time there was no uh, doctoral program in Italy, so I, I was totally unaware on the rituals, on the things that uh, we were supposed to do. In fact, I made a few blunders because, mind you, when um, when uh, 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 in fact, uh, owing to the interest of Gary Turbis, the late Gary Turbis, whom I remember very well, uh, who uh, activated Aldo Giorgini, he started seeking me actively. He called me at home, and he was uh, my, just he just uh, yes, 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 yes. Me up. this is my grandson actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm um, sorry, he somehow managed to turn. Turn off the, the audio, probably. Keep the video on, Carlotta. <laughs> so um, when uh, uh, I had accepted already an offer from a major technical university, in fact, it was, I was accepted uh, uh, elsewhere, and I had uh, replied positively, etc. So in the end, he made such a such a uh, uh, I mean, such an pouring enthusiasm that I wrote to the other institution that I wouldn't uh, follow up, and I chose Purdue. And that uh, snowballed to a certain extent, but uh, so I, I, I needed to learn anything, everything, etc. And but I have to say that um, with the classwork, I did well because the Italian system is idiosyncratic. But it's um, the way we tested, and it's typical of the French and Italian system, I think, um, is particularly uh, 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 challenging. So I felt immediately at home with the classwork, etc. And uh, and I have to say that uh, uh, it's. Um, the, the, the enthusiasm for research uh, wasn't, um, was scary at the beginning. I wasn't even sure that, uh, that I would have a strong vocation for, the, uh, for, for, for academia, but I discovered it here. So I have to say that uh, my Purdue time was, uh, I, I found it uh, uh, totally fundamental and not, uh, I, I haven't been, I never been scared, period. As it happened to me in other occasions and even in Padua, at a certain point. Mind you that in Padua, uh, the first year calculus class has a, a, a pass ratio, the first test, uh, something like 1%. So um, I have to say I felt at home at Purdue. The uh, challenges were uh, that, uh, well, you, I, I would take it with joy, but thank you for asking actually. So I, as, you, as you gather, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> All right. Uh... Andrea, you probably know this, but Dulce is also the head of our the Berg graduate program. Um, 
Jinhao, you have a question. So actually, it's, it's not a question, but it's more of a comment that as a, I'm going to say the most recent, you know, Purdue alum and uh, also uh, junior faculty member who just joined back to Purdue. Uh, thank you uh, very much, uh, Dr. Ronaldo, for showing, you know, which direction I need to go because I'm really, you know, glad to see, you know, all of you, you know, the, as a Purdue alum for many, many years later, you're recognized for the work that you've done and also hearing all the story um, kind of reminds me my first year when I first you know came to Purdue as well, and uh, also I'm kind of dreaming. You know, I want to be something like you know in your position in many many years later, so that I can be also you know talk about those you know first day when I first arrived at Purdue as well. So congratulations and uh, thanks for you know showing me what should I say it's kind of role model that I want to be in the in the future. Thank you so much. By the way, by the way, you're the dean of a graduate school. Do I understand correctly? Uh, what is the question again? You're, you're the dean of a graduate school. I missed the GS introduction. You are a kid. I mean, you're, you're <laughs> so young. <laughs> no, no, that was Dulcie. Dulcie is the chair of our graduate program, yeah, our graduate, graduate program in civil engineering. Yeah. Okay. Jinha is one of our uh, more recent uh, faculty members, but he's also one of our alums. A kid anyways. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, let's see. Any anybody else? Uh, Andrea, you you might know this, and perhaps others do or do not. We were talking about you know academic grandkids. Jack Dillard happens to be my academic grandfather. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jack. <laughs> uh, my my advisor was uh, Jack's student. Okay. You know, so he still, you know, has very high regard for Jack, and you know, talks to me about him whenever we we we, we have a chance to converse. Um, well, and we both this, remember and the clarity of Jack's classes. I took uh, without not for credit because I was done with the credit, but he took Jack's class, and his teaching was superbly clear, superbly clear. I think I took a class with Chris, actually. <laughs> if I may uh, interject here, you're talking about Jack Ugliarero uh, from Padua, the great uh, 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 scholar, civil engineer. I used to talk to him once in a while in the academy. And when he came to know that I was from Purdue, he mentioned Jack, and he said that uh, he learned a lot from Jack's work. And so uh, I always felt that, uh, uh, that some of the people who made Purdue famous, what Purdue became, Jack was one of them. So I, I, I want to uh, ask to appreciate when you're celebrating Andrea, the connection of Jack, the, the legacy of Jack. And by the way, I remember Kavash, that's GSS uh, uh, advisor at UC Davis, who used to work with uh, Jack. And I should talk to Kavash quite a bit uh, when he was at Purdue. So Professor Delude has long legacy and uh, uh, goes all the way from Andrea and all these people all the way back. So, uh, uh, Kumaras, let me tell you, this is really a small world. Tell you yep. why. <laughs> you mentioned George Bugliarello. George Bugliarello was assistant professor in Padua. He had a, te a te tenure permanent position, who, uh, which he gave up to uh, pursue a, a PhD at MIT. And then he went through the ladder and became uh, a, 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 yeah, the president of New York University, etc. Um, George Bugliarello, has to do with me being at Purdue. You know why? Because when um, I felt, and I, I probably said that in the blurb, I, I, I recorded for the, for the thing. And um, uh, I, I told the, the professor here that I wanted to go for a doctorate degree. At that time, there was no doctorate in the Italian academic system. So I needed, I felt I needed it. And um, my professor there, Augusto Ghetti, called George Bugliarello, who called Gary Turbes. And that's why I got in connection with Purdue. So it was, yep. uh, it was 
And you mentioned Levant Cavas, who was here as a post, it was at Purdue as a, as a postdoc when, uh, uh, when I was a graduate student. So we became friends and uh, we keep in touch from time to time still. So it's, it's a small world, actually. Yes. Yeah, small world because Guglielmo was at MIT and Tobis was at MIT. Yeah, that's what they were uh, since they MIT. Knew. <laughs> and I have to tell you that later on, uh, years by years afterwards, when I, I became a very good friend of a very good friend of George Bugliarello, who was Donald Harleman, the late professor at MIT. We became very good friends. Yep. Martha, Martha and, and, and Don were very good friends of Carlotta and myself, etc. When we fondly remember, we both passed away now, etc. And years afterward, he said how upset he was by the fact that I had accepted the position and then reinterrupted my team to go to Purdue. I said, who the hell this guy thinks he is? I wouldn't have a faintest idea of how things work and how seriously committed he would be. But um, yeah. so small world, small world. Yeah. Let's glad to remember all these. We had some very, and, and remember uh, G.B. Loganathan, of course. Oh, Loganathan, so, yeah. um, so he was a, a fine man and uh, a gentle soul, so. Yeah. And Chris was a, uh, was Lyndall Ormsby there when you were there? Yes. Ormsby was a student of Jack. Yes. Lyndall was a student Yes, yes. A Logan is a story, it's a story which you probably know, but Chris, you should tell our friends uh, about uh, Logan Athan. So uh, G.B. Uh, Logan Athan was uh, one of the faculty members that was killed in the uh, Virginia Tech shootings of, uh, about 15 years ago, or maybe not even that long. So. A uh, great man, and uh, he had a, a, a great smile, and uh, he wore the same blue... The blue coat. The blue coat. <laughs> <laughs> the blue coat. <laughs> Out of blue, it was probably a woman's coat that he had come because a lot of students show up not understanding the climate in West Lafayette, and he wore that everywhere. After his death, I wrote his wife um, a card talking about that coat. She says... He still had, he still has it in the closet. Uh, so, the closet. Uh, but uh, yes, that was Dr. Lur's student. Um, and it was one of the uh, very impressive moments when they came here for a uh, dedication uh, was for um, his widow and his uh, uh, daughters uh, to meet Dr. Delur in person. Of course, uh, Dr. Delur remembers Bithin Data, and I know uh, she has worked with Bithin. Um, we would go to the Indiana Academy of Science to polish our presentation skills. And we'd all, Dr. Glur and uh, Mark Houck and Dr. Gray and Dr. Mark Dean would line up, all of us, and we would make a presentation. And my memory, and I've said this before, is uh, uh, Mark Houck told uh, Bithin, slow down, slow down. And Bithin started going, and it's the fastest presentation I've ever seen in my life. Transparencies were flying left and right. I have no idea what he was talking about, and uh, um, so Bithin was a, 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 a he used to take me to the Diwali festival on uh, uh, on campus, and uh, had great memories of uh, time with Bithin. All right, let's uh, have Satish and then Gaia. Satish. So hi, Andrea. Good to see Ciao, you. Satish, good to see you, my friend. Yes, I just want to wish you many congratulations for this achievement, which is long overdue. And in the short term that I've known you, I've really enjoyed our conversations. I think we've developed a great affinity towards discussions of uh, common interests and scaling laws. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in person and continuing our discussions. So congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think that all my kids are, are visible now, right? Uh, Carlotta is there. I saw Daniele, however, briefly, and Tobia maybe as well. I are am here. here. Yep. Here's Toby from uh, College Station, Texas. Carlotta is there. And Daniele was there a minute ago. Where is he? Hello. Here is Daniele, my oldest son. <laughs> Hello. All right, let's go with Gaia. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Gaia and then Venkatesh. Yes, you're pronouncing it correctly. I'm, uh, I'm Gaia. I'm very honored to be here and I'm very pleased to meet you all. And I'd like to congratulate Dr. Rinaldo for your achievement. I am the 
Dr. Rao, who I just met. And I'm also from Italy. And in fact, I wanted to ask you, Dr. Ronaldo, how did you discover Purdue? What brought you to Purdue? And I was just curious to know, since I'm also from Italy. Uh, well, actually, I, I, it, you see, that's something, it's a good, uh, if you'll be in academia, uh, you'll find that out. Uh, what uh, hooked me was a professor who chased me and wanted me to come, uh, uh, showing enthusiasm, showing personal touch and contact and direct contact with a prospective student. A uh, guy, I means a hell of a lot. It meant a hell of a lot to me. As I told you, I had already accepted the thing, et cetera, but I just turned my back on the already accepted proposal, et cetera. And um, that's, yes, that's what brought me to Purdue. And then, but then, I mean, I didn't know anything about graduate school. I didn't know anything about the doctoral program. I only, I only knew that I was, I was, I mean, the best in my class in Padua. And, and, uh, and, and I could see that while I was opening journals, et cetera, I couldn't understand what the hell was going on. I didn't have the tools, et cetera. So, uh, so yes, enjoy Purdue and use especially that, um, the strength that Purdue has in giving you basic tools. Uh, I mean, fishing rods are the fishes, actually, something which lasts forever. Hi, Andrea. I hope you remember me. I miss you. Times How are you? you okay. came on campus. So yeah. I'm Good very proud you. of, yeah. We are very proud of your accomplishments. And I do work on reverse and flood modeling. I come across your name all the time. And every time I see your name, I feel proud and I want to congratulate for, for today's accomplishment. So one more star. <laughs> so yeah, we are very proud of you and congratulations. That makes you know, it's so good to hear my friend. Thank you so much for my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, I had to go teach with uh, Gaia in my class. So she's gonna leave as well. But I wanna again, the congratulate class in which you. I'm, I will be teaching uh, in mm -hmm. April sometimes. Is that the class? Yes, I was going to say, I hope uh, now that the vaccines are being, you know, distributed, at least in the U.S., um, hopefully you'll find that in fall you can make a visit and we will meet on campus in person. But before that, that I'd be teaching remotely uh, a, a class. Uh, when oh, I yes, you're giving, yes. A lecture, you're giving a lecture in April, yes. Yeah, in a seminar series, that's right. That would be a virtual lecture as well, but... I wanted to say we're looking forward to seeing you in person, uh, hopefully in fall. So very much, my friend. So very much. Okay. My, very, uh, uh, my uh, very best regards to Keiko as well. I will. Thanks. Okay. Good seeing you all. Bye bye. Well, uh, nice well, you, well we are about to. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to leave this wonderful session. I'd like to say uh, goodbye to uh, Andrea. Uh, unfortunately, I do have an appointment to get my second shot for the uh, COVID-19, oh, and uh, of fantastic. course I cannot miss that. So uh, it's a pleasure to see you, all of you. It was really a fantastic meeting and the congratulations again, Andrea. It was very Thank great. you for my heart, Chuck. Yeah, I think uh, we all have to, well, many of us have to leave. Uh, yeah, they have to. So again, uh, thanks everybody. And again, congratulations, Andrea. When you are back on campus, we'll have to do this properly and we have to celebrate Chris's uh, induction Thank to the National you. Academy. So. Once we Hopefully. are back to normal, we will have a lot of partying to catch up. And, uh, and uh, with that, lot of long, and uh, is it Susan and Mrs. Burke for sure, 100%. All right. Well, right. Thanks, everybody. And Thank bye. You so much. And, Thank uh, you for my heart. Please have a good, uh, good day. Thank bye you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, yes, from all. This is really very special. Great. So.